Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can win the Frost Claws mini game every time and how you can win the Christmas future egg. So the Frost Claws Fury Story mini game has now arrived into Adopt Me. I have played it myself and I can say that it is a bunch of fun. I've been really enjoying it. I've played it a few times now and I've managed to get myself a few Christmas future eggs. So I thought today I would make a video on giving you guys some tips and tricks and also doing a bit of a walkthrough on how you can win this mini game, how you can complete it every time and how you can get the Christmas future egg and bring it home to keep in your inventory. So I really hope that this video is going to be a bunch of help for you. It will also help you if you may be a bit confused on how to play this new story game or you may just want some tips and tricks in general on how you can complete it better to get more gingerbread as you can get gingerbread from this mini game too and of course most importantly how to get a Christmas future egg which we can hatch on Christmas day. But before I do begin with today's video, as I always say, if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a like so then I know to do more just like this one. And also hit the subscribe button down below so then you can be subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. But other than that, let's jump into this story game and get started with today's video. So of course first things first is you're going to want to head into the portal and jump onto a sleigh and wait for the time to go down. When it hits zero you will fly into the portal with Santa and Miss Elto. After the first cutscene it's time for the first task which is searching furniture. I would recommend starting from the beginning, working your way around going into the two rooms on either side also as you do this. Kind of go in a circle that way you won't miss any of the furniture. As you search through the dresses you are going to be looking for the following items. You're going to be looking for food which consists of apples and ham and either a hyper speed potion or a wooden sword. You can only get either of these, you can't get both of them. So either you will get a hyper speed potion or a wooden sword. But don't worry you will have a chance to get the other one later on in the story. Something else you're going to be looking out for while searching furniture are snowballs. These are also important for a little later on in the story. In total you can find 60 snowballs. It's super important that you search all the furniture to find everything that you possibly can find. After the furniture searching is over, Miss Elto will offer you a cookie. Take this cookie as it will help you get your health bar up by 10%. Try and keep your health bar as high as you possibly can throughout the game to increase your chances of survival. And I will be giving you tips on how you can do that throughout the video. After you've searched the furniture and eaten your cookie, it's now time to sleep. My tip for this part is to sleep in the bed nearest the ladder, as you're going to need to climb up there in just a moment. However, all the other beds are safe if you do choose to sleep in another one, apart from the one with drips of eggnog lava on. Don't sleep on this one, as once you are asleep, a chandelier will fall onto you and your health will be damaged a lot, so avoid the eggnog bed. After the chandelier has fallen, eggnog lava will begin flowing out of it. This is where the ladder comes in handy. Jump out of bed and head up the ladder to safety and stay up there until told further instructions. As you can also see, my health bar above my head is at 100%. This is from sleeping, that is why it is important to sleep in the beds. After you've climbed up to safety, you're now going to have to jump into the danger because you're going to have to get rid of the eggnog lava to continue on. The only way to do this is to jump down into the eggnog lava to unclog the drain. Jump in quick and swim to the bottom where the drain is and click to unclog it. This task will damage your health but don't worry it only takes 10% of your health bar. If you're quite low already just make sure that you're healed up afterwards but if you slept you should be at 100% so you'll be all good. 
Now you'll meet a new character, Thistlebeard, who has a shop that you can purchase helpful supplies from, but you can only purchase supplies with snowballs. This is why in the furniture search at the beginning, it is important that you search all the furniture to find all 60 snowballs to spend. There are two purchases that I would recommend in the supply shop, depending on what you have already. If you have the same as what I got, the hyperspeed potion, then purchase the toy sword and an apple. But if you've got the wooden sword instead, then purchase the hyperspeed potion and a ham. This way you are spending all of your snowballs wisely and none have gone to waste. Now it's time to repair the beds. Run around the room collecting the wooden planks and bring them back to the bed stands to build them up. If you are playing alone, you won't be able to complete them all, but build at least one so then you're able to sleep and get your health back up to 100% if needed. And a big reminder that this is the last opportunity to sleep in the game. So get your health up to the top as after this you're going to have to use your food so make sure to sleep. Time for some combat because Frost Claws is going to spawn in some snowmen that you're going to have to defeat with your sword of course. Here are some tips I have to complete it the best that you can. I would recommend using the hit and run back method because as you can see on the floor there are red circles that appear under the snowmen. If you're standing in them when they fill up they will damage your health. So take a hit and run out the circle before it fills up, this way you can hit the snowman but not cause any damage to your health. When the timer runs out, the wooden hatch on the middle of the floor will open, so jump in. Once you've jumped into the basement door, it will take you to a small obby that you need to complete. You will have to run away from a moving spike wall, but as you do so, there will be obstacles in the way. Make sure not to run into the spikes of ice and don't fall into the lava as this will damage your health. Jump over the lava on the ice blocks and over the tightrope where Santa is going to be holding a rope for you to grab onto before the spike wall does arrive. Now, we're moving on to the most important part. This is where you can get the Christmas future egg. As soon as you teleport into the library, keep an eye out. Run into the middle, and if there is a Christmas future egg there, grab it as fast as you can before it despawns or another player grabs it. Once you have it, it will follow you around and it's yours to keep until the game does end. In between this, Santa will also offer you a cookie. Don't take this one, as it has been poisoned by frost claws and it will damage your health. If you need to get your health up at this point, then eat some food. Apples give you 10% health increase and ham gives you 20%. So choose wisely what you're going to eat depending on how low your health is. A big reminder, it is important to stay alive from now on as if you have the egg and you die, you will not be able to keep it. So make sure you're staying alive from now on if you want to take this Christmas future egg back into the world of Adopt Me with you. Now we have falling bookshelves. Frostclaw will now use his frost breath to try to freeze you. You are going to want to hide behind the bookshelves, but make sure you're choosing the right one, otherwise you will be squished. My tip is to follow Santa, as Santa is going to always go to a safe bookshelf. You can always use your hyperspeed potion here, as it will allow you to run to safety quicker, but I prefer to save it for later on in the story, so whatever you want to do, it's your call. After this part, Frost Claws will freeze Santa, who will fly out of the window, smashing the glass. You're going to want to run out of the window and onto the slide that will take you to where Santa has gone. As you slide down the slide, you will have to avoid the eggnog lava. Every time you hit a patch of it, it will damage your health by 10%. My tips for this part is to keep an eye on what is ahead of you to see where the eggnog lava is coming up to next. Another tip I have is if you're playing on a public server, with other players then wait behind for just a second before jumping out the window that way you won't be first onto the slide and other players will be in front of you you can see where they're going and where they're sliding to first to avoid yourself from sliding into the eggnog on to the final task of the story game, which is beating Frost Claws. This is obviously the hardest part and the most tactical part of the mini game because it is the last bit. So I have a bunch of tips for you for this part of the story. Before beginning this part, make sure your health is full, so eat some food. Also, if you haven't already used it, use your hyperspeed potion in this section so you can run it around faster. 
Firstly, frost claws will begin with dropping ice spikes. You will be warned before they do drop as big red circles will appear on the floor. So just don't stand on them before they are full and you will be fine. Frost claws will then spawn in snowmen. So use the combat method that I spoke about earlier in the video to defeat them. Then frost claws will use frost breath to try and freeze you once again. There will be a big red circle that will appear on the floor following you around where frost claws is breathing the frost breath. So just make sure to not stand in it as it will begin to damage your health. To stay away from the circle and the frost breath as much as possible, I would recommend standing nearest the inside of the circle as it will take longer for it to catch up to you, just like I'm doing right now. Lastly, frost claws will jump onto one of these right here. Press the button on the bottom to activate the eggnog lava to knock a heart off of a frost claws. Do this three times and there you have it. You have defeated frost claws and won the Christmas future egg. Not only that, you will also be awarded gingerbread. I usually get around 8,000 to 9,000 gingerbread using the method that I have shared with you today. It is also important that you do complete every task because depending on how well you do each task depends on how much gingerbread you will be rewarded. So make sure you're doing everything to the best of your ability and using a bunch of tips and tricks where you can. Keep playing the mini game to collect as many Christmas future eggs as you can and keep them in your inventory to hatch on Christmas day. So that is where I'm going to be ending today's video. I really hope that you did enjoy it. And I hope that this walkthrough and these tips and tricks for the Frost Claws Fury is going to be helpful for you. And definitely let me know in the comments of today's video if you have gotten yourself a Christmas future egg yet. And if so, how many have you got so far? And another thing that you could leave in today's comment section is any more tips that you may have that I haven't mentioned in today's video. Feel free to leave them in the comments to help out other people and it could even help out myself too as it could be a tip that myself or other people may not know yet. But other than that, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you did enjoy it. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye!